Welcome into Next Gen Stats, I'm Caroline Hendershot. Last Sunday at MetLife Stadium, tight end Tyler Conklin led all Jets and Bengals receivers in average separation with 5.87 yards, which is 2.96 more yards than the average receiver across the NFL in week three. Conklin also had receptions on all eight of his targets and had a team high 85 receiving yards. Two of those receptions were gains of 15 plus yards and both came in the second half. The first play came with 3.29 left in the third quarter on third and six from the Jets' 24-yard line. Conklin lined up on the left side of Joe Flacco before he ran a flat route towards the Bengals' sideline. Conklin caught the ball all alone and was able to break a tackle and run 17.1 yards after the catch before being brought to the ground. He reached a max speed of almost 15 miles per hour and covered a distance of 34.82 total yards. Conklin's second big play came in the final two minutes of the game on second and six from Cincinnati's 47-yard line. This time, Conklin lined up on the right side of Flacco and ran an out route toward the right sideline. Once Conklin caught the ball, he stutter-stepped and changed direction back inside to avoid both Bengals defensive end Jeffrey Gunter and cornerback Eli Apple continued past them and picked up just over 16 yards after the catch. Conklin hit a max speed of almost 15 and a half miles per hour and covered a total distance of 37.61 yards on the play. The expected yards after catch for this play was only 1.3 yards, with Conklin picking up an additional 14.9 yards above expectation this play ranked second in the top yards after catch plays that were above expectation for the Jets this season. Conklin is a staple in the Jets' skill position group. His 18 receptions tie Garrett Wilson for the team's lead, and he's had receptions 75% of the time he's been targeted. Conklin is bound to play a prominent role again when the Jets take on the Steelers in Pittsburgh this Sunday.